So in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at using Luminar Neo to enhance your real estate photos to go from this to this. So let's get going. All right, so this image is just brought straight in, straight out of camera. This was my drone shot, um, a Mavic 2 Pro, so we are at 20 megapixels. But this is what it looked like straight out of camera. So all you need to do to get it into Luminar Neo once you've downloaded the software is to right click and go into Edit in Luminar Neo. All right, so once the image has been loaded into Luminar Neo, you're gonna come up here to the Edit button, and that's gonna give you all your editing sliders right here. So it kind of works like, kind of the same way as Lightroom as far as the sliders go. That's how simple it is. So first off is I like to use the Enhance AI, and so if we just start moving that accent slider up, look at this, it's brightening up those shadows. And again, it will depend on the image, how far you wanna push it, but all the way to 100% right now, I think that looks wonderful. Sky Enhancer, that'll just kind of do, you know, it'll focus on just the sky. It'll be kind of like do a dehaze or enhance the contrast of the sky. We're going to actually replace the sky, so we can close out Enhance. Now let's click on the sky and show you how simple this is. I've already got one picked out that I want to use for this particular tutorial, and we're going to click on this one. And it'll take a few seconds for that sky to load in and we need to come down here to sky orientation you have your horizontal verticals I like to make sure that we get that Sun in the right position let's see if we do horizontal oh horizon I'm sorry that's horizon we need to do the horizontal drag and we can drag it over this way so it sort of makes a little more sense where those shadows are coming from on that roof and that looks like all I need to do no nope, mask refinement we're gonna come down here now if you see that it needs to be crisped up around those trees that's where the global slider will come in I throw that all the way to 100 I've never had any issues and it cleans up really well the close the gaps fix the details sliders that just kinda of fine-tunes the mask a little bit if you push it too much it can start to get blotchy in certain spots but if for for example if you didn't have these down and maybe you had power lines or something else that it really a fine detail that it needed to mask out that's where you would mess with these close the gaps and fix the detail sliders but as you can see it does a really good job of cleaning up around those trees and there's some other things here scenery lighting which I don't really mess with this reflection if you wanted like reflection over a water it'll tend to help you pull the reflections in maybe make it a little more realistic looking and you can maybe defocus the sky if you really needed to sometimes that looks cool you know soften the sky up a little bit and maybe add some warmth being this is a twilight dusk shot we are going to warm that sky up a little bit more come down here I think that looks good so now we can go to we can close out the sky now the one thing I will say with uh, Luminar Neo as opposed to Luminar AI is if you open this back up this is gonna create another layer automatically and you would start over how you access what you have already done is come up here to the uh, edits button and your sky orientation everything will be right here in what you've already done as far as your edits go so when we come back out here let's go to color we can bump that saturation up a little bit and if you ever want to see what the before and after is that's what that little eyeball is and if you hold that down that is what it looks like before and then after that really brightens up the sky makes that look really nice now if you notice sometimes when you're doing oops see now I close that out we're gonna have to go back over to our edit slider and mess with our HSL slider the hue saturation and luminance and it looks like the the greens have started to turn a little neon over here so that's what I would come to my luminance slider and take my green and just drop those down to me that looks so much more realistic neon greens are never cool I don't care who you are alright that looks good let's go back out to our tools uh, down here to details is basically just a sharpening I like to use uh, what is a structure slider instead bring that up just a little bit so if we just toggle that on and off, it just adds basically like a, a clarity, like in Lightroom. Because there is a, a details, which is your sharpening. You can do like a, you know, a small details. And again, that does get rid of some of that blurriness or that 
it definitely, it's like you didn't know that it fixed it until you actually do it, which is pretty sweet. I like that. It really crisps that up. Landscape, we can make it look like it's from golden hour. You got to be careful with this, though, because it starts to really turn neon, or, you know, the oranges get pushed. But a little bit of golden hour never hurt anybody. Foliage enhancer, again, we don't want, I personally don't like to enhance the foliage because, look, it makes it look neon. So we're trying to tame that. So I close that landscape slider out. Let's keep coming down. You can put sun rays in if you want. I never mess with that for real estate photos. And maybe the last thing I would do is maybe a super contrast. This is tough, though, and it's neat, but you can do the highlights. I never really mess with this too much and balance it out. And again, if we toggle that on and off, it's just a subtle change. I like that, though. So now, if you want to see what the before and after looks like, just hold down this eyeball right here on the bottom click on that that's what we started with look at the transformation of that that is phenomenal i mean how many realtors would be super impressed with you if you gave them something like that i mean talk about that for a nice cover photo that's going to grab people's attention you know so how we are going to be able to do this with one click we come down here where it says actions and click save as preset and we can title it anything we want let's call it uh, I already created a preset we'll call it real estate twilight and then hit close out of that and then hit apply I appreciate you watching make sure you hit that subscribe button I'm releasing tutorials all the time we'll see you in the next video guys bye bye